Well, good morning. Hope you guys are having a good morning. We're sitting at a nice 80 degrees right now. At around 10 a.m. Oh, I need to adjust my camera. Excuse me, Pepper. Hold on just a minute. Okay. A little less me, a little more of the weather. Okay. So, yesterday, we talked a little bit about using AI and how sci-fi books and movies were starting to lose their appeal to me because things are moving. They're moving, Baloo. They're rocking and rolling in the tech world to the point where a lot of those sci-fi movies and stuff just don't seem to make a lot of sense anymore. Poor Baloo. He's got a little, he's got an infection in his ears. We've had a hell of a time trying to get him to sit still long enough for us to get some good medicine down his ears. All right. I have a little uh, coffee in this this time. So, uh, hope you have a beverage that's getting you going in the morning. That definitely is hitting the spot for me. So, I know there's a lot of nervousness about AIs and will they destroy mankind? Will they do this? Will they do that? I want to talk about uh, something that I haven't heard people mentioning, but I think it's actually one of the, the better things I'm hoping will be an AI. Now, in AI, they Google got slapped around a little bit because they they messed with any prompts that you put in. They would add their own caveats to it, and we got the uh, black Nazi uh, soldiers as images from uh, Google, and there's been other little shenanigans. Uh, from the people that create the AIs to mess with us and their results that make it uh, not as clean as what the AI would produce if those shenanigans had not occurred. But one of the things I'm hoping for with the AI when we eventually get rid of those shenanigans is that it will have a ability to uh, ignore the pressures that happen to humans when it comes to their analysis. Now, you've heard of things like echo chambers and stuff like that. You probably have heard it for politics, but it's a, it's a problem with uh, science and research as well. A lot of uh, universities have a lot of uh, echo chambers or um, cultural cultural practices, I guess would be the best, best way to put it, that cause the output of those universities graduate students and professors to be outside with what is rational by looking at the data. So one of the things that I'm hoping the AI will be able to do is ignore that and look at the math. Uh, we had the new uh, ChatGPT-01 and and the L1 is pretty good at math. And if you listen to most of the politicians, 
uh, it doesn't take long for you to realize these guys are, they suck at math. <laughs> uh, even the economists, you, you listen to them and you go, you guys understand that, yeah, uh, certain things are, are really irrational. I'll give you the example as uh, one of the common things is uh, this is a, uh, and I'm not knocking specifically on the people that are uh, into uh, reducing our carbon footprint. Cause I think that is a good goal to have. I have uh, solar panels on my roof and I did that primarily not for co- not for cost saving because I think, Overall, it cost me a little bit more. Uh, but I really like the idea of, of consuming less electricity that's not produced by non-green things. And I know some of you can argue about the fact that, uh, well, solar panels take a lot of energy to produce. I think in the long run, um, me personally, I think they're a benefit. That being said, these, uh, that's my, uh, warning or caveat or whatever you want to say. Uh, I've heard economists talk about, well, if we get everybody to use mass transit and not use their own vehicles, this will go on. I hate mass transit. I don't like riding with people. And I've only heard one economist say, you know, uh, yeah, mass transit sucks. Uh, you got to listen to the other people. You got to, you never know when they're going to be somebody on there that's mentally deranged. And I mean that mentally deranged. Uh, you can go on uh, Twitch or uh, uh Instagram or anywhere you want to go, you'll find a lot of videos of people acting fools in public on a mass transit and you're stuck. You can't escape. You can't leave the uh, subway train that's traveling at 60 miles an hour through a tunnel. Get the hell away from them. So yeah, that math works out, but it's also stupid math. And the AI will be able to correlate that and ignore any pressures from uh, climatologists that <clears throat> are, well, you got to do it this way, no other way. And because right now, um, there's a German professor that I enjoy listening to. Uh, she's really, she's uh, she's good at, I listen to her more when it comes to chemistry and science. She delves off into other topics that are uh, geopolitical and stuff like that. But I'm like, uh-huh. I don't get it. But overall, she's pretty good. But she had a segment where she was talking about uh, Bad science. She said there's a lot of bad science. And she went through and said that, especially in certain areas, there are pressures where you will get published if you say X and you will not get published if you say Y, even if the math works in both of them. And the reason for that is that X is the science we want. Y either cast doubt on that or is science we don't want. Luna, it went under. It went under. She'll drop her ball and it rolled off Pepper's behind and went back behind me. So hopefully she can get it. I might have to get up to go get it. Can you get it? Uh, Okay. Good. Just way back there. Oh. Well, 
one of the things I really like about Luna is that she's kind of gentle. She doesn't destroy our property to get to things. So I do try to help her out. Even though this time, she probably could have got back there and gotten it. She's my gentle giant. Biggest dog owned and probably the most gentle of the puppies I, I have at the house. Okay. But her point is well taken. And she made, she laid out a pretty good case analyzing the areas where there's the most pressures from society and politics to make people say certain things. And I'm hoping the AI can help us understand and analyze things in such a way that we go later on and go, yeah, that didn't make any sense. Uh, wow. We shouldn't have uh, done it that way. So that's one of my greatest hopes is that we can start getting information that's not colored by the loudest voices. Not even the majority. The majority of people would like to have good analysis, um, unbiased analysis. They don't really want you. They want the, the hard truths as well as the good ones. They want the ones that will better inform them about what's actually happening in their world or things. Um, predictions and uh, forward analysis that might be helpful in them understanding how to make the best choices in their lives. AI doesn't worry about not being able to be invited to a soiree. They're not worried about you clipping their uh, tenure or their money or their uh, stuff like that. The AI hopefully will be saying, I, my, my programming says to do the right thing and do the correct thing. So that's uh, my one of my biggest hopes for AI. There you go. That was my spiel. And I haven't heard anybody say that. It probably has been said. There's so many voices. Talking about AI, it's hard to keep up with all of them. But you guys keep that in mind, that as you look at AI chats and uh, the different tools that are being pr provided to us, look for the ones that are from companies that really want truth, really want the results to be accurate not just politically correct uh, I right now do not like using Google and their Gemini stuff technology wise they are a very high tech company but they don't seem to be interested in providing those kind of tools that makes me very sad because I used to be a big Google fan. I actually am recording this on a Pixel device. And uh, hopefully they'll get their act together. But we will see. If not, there are other options. And hopefully those other options will be ones that we can trust to give us clean, appropriate, well-researched, good mathematically results. So, all right, that's all I had. That's my last spiel for the weekend. You guys have a wonderful weekend, and we will talk to you soon. Bye for now.